Today I'm going to be showing you how to increase your FPS in game while keeping your visibility and quality in War Thunder. This is a no BS tutorial so let's get right into it. First you're going to go to your graphics settings and you're going to set your mode to full screen to make sure that there's no input lag. Your resolution is set to the resolution of your monitor. Your VSync is off. Your monitor is auto selected or selected to the monitor that you want to play on and your graphics API is set to Direct3D11. Moving down to the anti-aliasing mode, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you're going to want to select DLSS if you're able to. If you have an AMD graphics card, you're going to want to select FSR. It's not an option for me because I don't have an AMD graphics card, but you would select that. If you have neither of those options, you can select TAA. And if you have none of those options, I would just turn it off. Upscaling mode, you're going to want to set to quality. Image sharpening you can leave alone, going to anisotropy, you're going to want to set it to 8x. If you're having some FPS issues, you can turn it down to 4x, but I wouldn't recommend going any lower than that. SAA will be disabled, and then your NVIDIA reflex low latency, if you're able to select this, would be boost. Moving down, you're going to want to set your texture quality to high. Your shadow quality, you're going to want to set to minimum. Your water quality, you're going to want to set to low. Water effects quality low. The cloud quality and the reflection quality, you're gonna to wanna to turn all the way off. Your effects resolution, you're gonna to wanna to set to low. Your terrain quality, you're gonna to wanna to set to low. SSAO quality, you're gonna to wanna to turn off. Tire track marks off. Cockpit mirror reflections quality, you actually wanna keep this at medium. If you turn it all the way down, you won't be able to see the reflections in your mirrors. Global illumination quality, you're gonna to wanna to set to low. Physics quality, you're gonna to wanna to turn off. Terrain displacement quality, you're gonna to wanna to turn off. Tree range, particle density, grass range, and small object shadows you're going to want to turn off. Make sure all the advanced shore, heat haze, far terrain details, and lens flare are also turned off. All these things will just muddy your graphics. You want very clear graphics when you're playing a competitive game. Moving down here, you're going to skip any ray tracing because we're not using Direct3D12. Going down, you're going to want to make sure your VR mode's turned off. Your performance metrics can be turned on so you can see your FPS. Your motion blur strength, you're going to want to turn all the way down. Camera motion blur, you're going to want to turn off. Make sure that old video card support is not turned on. From there, accessibility wise, you can go to main parameters and then you can go to common battle settings and take your camera shake and make sure you turn this all the way off. Other than that, those are the settings. If you have any questions, drop them down below. If you enjoy no bullshit tutorials, drop a like and peace out.